I will tell you and you that thoracic outlet syndrome is not due to an elevated first rib. We learn in school that what happens is the first rib becomes elevated, then gets stuck elevated, and we have to go and mobilize the first rib down. We've got to give people first rib mobilizations. Okay, if you research the first rib, one of two things will happen. The first thing is you will read that it is a synarthrosis. What does the word sin mean? Without. 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 What's arthrosis? Without. Joint. So what's a synarthrosis? There's no joint. <laughs> the first rib doesn't move. In fact, the definition of a synarthrosis is an immovable fixed joint between bones connected by fibrous tissue. It doesn't fucking move. It moves a little bit, but that's it. There's no joint, there's no synovial capsule. All the other ribs do have that. These are all joints. This one is not. It doesn't move very much. Therefore, it can't elevate and get stuck. It's not a joint. That's number one. Two, find me an x-ray of an elevated first, I should be talking to the camera because PTs are watching this. Find me a fucking x-ray of an elevated first rib. <laughs> if you look up first rib elevation in Google, which searches everything, you will not find a picture of an elevated first rib. You will find what are called C7 fibrous bands, which are basically bands of fibrous tissue that come off the bottom of your neck and come down to your first rib, like a scalene, except they're just connective tissue. Or you'll find what's called a cervical rib, which is a tiny little riblet, which is an extra rib at the top. That causes true rib-based thoracic outlet syndrome. As far as everything else that I'm concerned, there's no such thing. Is that a deformation to have a riblet? Yes. It, well, deformation. It's like congenital. It's like a congenital anomaly. Like some people yeah. have it. Like okay. <laughs> Let me wind up. Here's what does cause thoracic outlet syndrome. The pitch. What does cause thoracic outlet syndrome is a hypertrophied, thickened, scaling muscle complex because of breathing mechanics. It doesn't need to be the first rib. The neighbor right there can cause all the same symptoms. So what do you treat? They have thoracic outlet syndrome. They come in, they go, my doctor told me I have thoracic outlet syndrome and my first rib is blah, blah, blah. And you, and you say, that's nice, and you go treat the scalene complex. <laughs> the other thing that can cause it is that the brachial plexus runs underneath the clavicle. And the theory is the first rib is elevated and squishing the, the nerves as they run between the collarbone and the first rib. But I just told you the first rib doesn't move. But what does move? The collarbone. The collarbone is 100% free to move in all planes of motion. Yes? So if I have depressed shoulder blades, who? Like Lisa. If my scapulae are depressed down, heavy, my clavicle is going to drop onto my first rib. Right. Now, I could go in there and push on the first rib, or I could just strengthen the rhomboids and pull the clavicle off the first rib, and then I'm done.